After watching this video, you will learn how to make tattoo fire transition in film or IX, 9 and 8. Like this. Hello video creators. My name is Sali Ali, welcome to Sali Tutorials. Today I'm going to run through a tutorial on this wonderful tattoo fire transition in Filmora. We thought about this transition, this transition may be new but I think everyone will love this wonderful transition. Before that, if you are new here, please subscribe to the channel, and if you like this video sure to give a thumbs up. So let's move on to the video. Drag and drop the video to the timeline. I play this video for you, I have this video something like this. I slow the speed of this video by 0.5x. I take a snapshot from the middle of the video. Then open Photoshop. We may be in dire need of Photoshop at times, so keep Photoshop installed on your computer. After opening Photoshop, go to File in the top left corner and click on it. And then click Open. Select the snapshot we took, and then click Open. So you can see that we have that snapshot picture open in Photoshop. Zoom the picture to your liking. Now in the layers on the right side you can see that there is a background layer. Double click on this background layer. And then click OK. Now select the eraser tool in the tools on the left. You can set the size of the eraser tool according to your tattoo. I set it to 5. Now this tattoo has to be erased using eraser tool. In this picture, wherever there are tattoo lines on the hand, we erase all the tattoo lines through this tool. Keep watching. After erasing the tattoo lines, go to file and click on it. After clicking on the file, click save as. Enter any name for the file. And select the file format PNG. And then save by pressing the enter key. So you can see that we have both pictures in this folder. One is that we just erased the tattoo in Photoshop and then saved it. And the other is the picture we took of snapshot from the video in Filmora. Now drag and drop the saved picture from Photoshop into Filmora Media. Drag this picture to the second track in the middle of the video, where we have already placed the playhead. Select the video below, and split this video in the middle here. Move the last part of the video a little further. And keep the duration of the picture for 1 or 2 seconds at most. Drag and drop this picture between the two parts of the video in the track below. Select the picture on the timeline, and click Crop Tool. 
Open the pan and zoom tab inside the crop tool. Make the pan and zoom selection as small as possible. And place it on a tattoo area. And click OK. So you can see that the picture is zooming towards the tattoo. Now select everything on the timeline and drag and drop it into the second track above. Now import a video of a fire from your computer into film or a media. So you can see that I have a video of fire in this folder. If you would like to download this video I have given the link of this video in the description, you can download this video absolutely free. I drag this video to film or a media. Now drag and drop this fire video into the track below at the start of the picture. Now get a copy of this picture. Right click the picture, and then click copy, or press the shortcut Ctrl plus C. Now move both the playhead and the video a few seconds forward. And paste the copied picture here. Right click, and then click paste. Or press the shortcut Ctrl plus V. Now close the gap between the last part of the video and the last picture. To do this, select both footage, and press the shortcut, Alt plus Delete. The gap is closed. Adjust the length of the video of the track below. Now click on the second picture, and then click on the crop tool. Just swap the pane and zoom start and end selection here, which is on the lower right side inside the tool. Click OK. So here's a great tattoo fire transition ready with us, let's see. I hope this video is helpful for you. Please comment and let us know how you felt about today's tattoo fire transition. We will be very grateful to you. And thanks a lot for the friends who share their opinions with us. So if this video helps you out, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe. And as always, keep creating better video with solid tutorials. Bye.